Luo Yang burns, my lord. By your command. It was unavoidable. It was the beating heart of treason. Those traitors still rise against you, and they have convinced the people of your guilt. There can be no mercy for traitors. Cao Cao is most capable, but his ambition will destroy him. Yuran Cao may lead this coalition, but he lacks the resolve to oppose me. I will utterly crush him. Dao Jian remains an ally, but he speaks in vagaries. He is weak-willed. I do not trust him or any of them to honor any oaths to me. I will burn them all as I burn their precious capital. You act in defense of the Emperor, my lord. Let none stand against your fury. All right, welcome to this next early game guide here in the 190 Rise of the Warlords campaign in Total War Three Kingdoms. And we're going to be doing Mr. Dong Zhuo. And the game plan is we're going to strike back at this broken coalition ASAP. We're going to try to take out Zhuang Shao before turn 10. We're going to build up an army to push against Zhuang Shu, Lu Shang, and Cao Cao. That's going to be the really hard one. And we're going to have another army pushing forward to take all of Hedong by end of turn 2. And then we will also push north to take out the Bandit Queen and keep annexing all these settlements here of the Han Empire to really build up my economic hub in the north and push back against most enemies that could get big later in the campaign. Now, there is someone since this latest patch that got pretty strong. Well, two people. For some reason, GSC becomes really strong by grabbing all of these settlements here. And Yuan Shao really doesn't do much. You know, he just kind of stays struggling around here, not moving around that much. And then Cao Cao can hit you with schemes. And one of them you really got to watch out for is minus 20 food for five turns, which is a pretty big um, detriment to you. Now, how you can work around that and how you're going to gain a ton of money in this campaign is you keep the Han Empire as your vassal. You don't give him up. And you use your intimidation for coercion purposes to coerce the Han Empire to give you about 3.5k to 5k in money every couple of turns every two to three turns you can keep farming this over and over in the campaign your intimidation will drop by 30 and the goal is to try to keep intimidation from dropping to this lowest level which is where it kind of affects you public order and corruption wise now you can play the game with low intimidation to farm rebellions i've never been a big fan of it because i find farming rebellions to become very dull and repetitive especially as you get to the mid and late game because it's a lot of rebellions over and over and over again. Even though it's a good sound solution for you to gain a lot of money over time. You know, low, low population um, commandeers. Nobody lives in them, but you're an emperor all of all of them. Now, what we want to do early in the game here is push north with Lubu. Grab this small settlement. Da -da 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 -da. I'm just going to run through everything here in this turn one. So we're going to grab this settlement. Fast, fast, fast. Oop, got intimidation occupy this shows much support from the people so we got public order and faction support now we're gonna go here yes who has this little horse we should yes who has this little horse that we can trade so we're gonna put this basic horse on him and we're gonna go to diplomacy quick deal trade agreement and sui wants to do a trade agreement we're also gonna receive the daughter of or whoever the hell she is i think she's his daughter yeah to marry dong ming and what we're going to do here is trade away a lot of things. This little horsey. And then usually you gain these two items right away in, in the campaign. So we can do these two. Maybe trade away one food. Actually, no, we don't want to trade away one food. That's actually bad. And then here, there should be a basic item we can trade away. Let's give this one. 0.1. Make payment. There. This character is going to cost zero upkeep. And she has some really good assignments to help with economic development. Which is really good to do this investment. So let's do this. this. The next person we're going to do a trade deal with is Ma Tang. Only 1.9 to do it. Well met, so man. we can just give him a basic... Let's see, a rooster? Yeah, that should be enough. 0 0.3. That's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's all I can really do. I don't really want to trade anything else. So let's give that to him. So we have a trade deal with him. 389. A satisfactory deal. 
And then finally, trade agreement with the Han Empire. Only 3.1 to make it happen. Freely, so we can go here. Oh, shit. So we can go here. Trade ancillaries. Um, he has a shaman? Damn. Okay. We can give the water clock, even though it's a pretty good... Uh, it's actually not that great of an item. 2.1. Okay. We still have a sword that we can trade away. Um, That is equipped on Zheng Liao, but we're going to keep it on him. Actually, no. We're actually going to do this. We're going to go here to Shen Liao. The sword gives him 12 expertise. This drops it by 3. We're going to give him this weapon. We're going to keep this to, to help with his satisfaction. He has this title here, Senior Officer. In turn 2, we're going to remove it. And we're going to make him the Administrator of Hidong. So let's go back to trade. Quick deal. Uh, where's Han Empire? 3.1. Welcome. Friend. Trade ancillaries. Trade the sword. Trade this basic item. And that's enough. Get the trade with the Han Empire. Successful bid. That's all of our trade agreements. All right, that's good. Now that we did all that, we can remove all the units. We don't care about them. We're just going to run basic militia units. And, uh, remove everybody. Can I serve, my lord? There. Da, 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 da. Okay, good. We don't care about these settlements. It's just too much of a time and money investment to um, acquire and develop them. When what you want to do is push to the far um east as soon as you can we're moving all these units from these generals Welcome, so they can move more Presence in the campaign map and what we're gonna do is Ready we're gonna man. grab this trade port this same turn here so we're gonna move here man the deck. and next occupy and next boom in time, we have the trade port thank us we're gonna help with public order since it's only given 92 bucks right now we're gonna help with public order right away by not taxing it and then on turn two we're gonna grab this minor uh, mine settlement and this settlement up here. There is some other stuff we want to do. Let's go to the court. And Grand Tudor, we're going to put Li Ru. Because he is not too happy. And putting someone in Grand Tudor early in the game actually is worth more in profit than the salary you know you get hit by in terms of cost. And you get 15% more character experience, which you need. There are three characters that we want to level up ASAP in the campaign. Zhu Rong, Wu Xi, and Li Ru. These three generals are one level away from getting reach, and that is a really big bonus for you to have against the camp the AI. Now, if we look at um, assignments, this new character that we got, she has industrial exploitation, which is really good, um, surplus markets, which is actually going to be really good in Hedong down the line, but supervised construction is going to be key to help build up this common theory of Hedong ASAP. We also want to use income from commerce to stimulate the market. Now, another thing that we got to focus on is we got to put Zhu Rong on assignment because when you put someone on assignment, they level up faster. And when we capture Hedong, it's a level 5 settlement, so we're going to need more food right away. So the three people we're going to put on assignment, or at least early, is Zhu Rong, Han and Jue, and then Dong Zhuo to help with mustering turns. So that's everything. We're going to put him here. That's good. We're not, we're not going to put anybody else on assignment right now. Um, let me see, actually. Numpation is actually good to put on assignment on this common theory here because it is going to improve income from more sources by just a bit. And also, it's going to help with construction costs, which we need for this province because we're going to build it up. Let's put it there. That dropped us by 221 in total upkeep because that is a... Uh, what do you call it? That is a uh, administrator that we're putting there. But here, now we can start separating Li Jue. We're going to move him in Force March. And he's going to be taken all the way over here to annex Hene from the Han Empire ASAP. Let's go this way. And then this guy here, it's someone that we use for mainly assignments early in the game. We're going to recall him. And... What I want to do is get three full armies full of militia units. That's nine total uh, generals. And then three to make those main armies be able to ambush. So we need a total of 12 characters for that. But we also have three available assignments that we want to fill up. So we need a total of 15 characters. So we need three more to do what I'm trying to do. So here we should be able to get Hedong the next turn. We're good there. Here economically speaking, this is actually pretty a pretty good situation to be in. All right. Nobody else I want to put on assignment for now. Oh, yes. The gate passes. Don't tax them so they increase in, in um, population. Sorry, in public order. 
So if they get um sieged, they actually don't cause a revolt per se that fast. So I think that's it for now. Um, yep. Let us continue. We're not going to build any buildings, by the way, because we want to wait till we get all of Hedong. So we start building the, it up as soon as possible. And this is really going to help with doing that. And then the final two assignments will help um, put people into assignments in just a bit. So that is it for now. Let us continue. But this is where it gets interesting. We have 5.8 in income, right? Which is good. But now what's going to happen is this general is going to force Marge grab this settlement. But a second general is going to grab this one. So we need the money to do so. Right now we have 95 in intimidation. So we're going to go to the Han Empire. Glad to see you. Request payment. Coerce. 17.8. So we're going to do like... I think usually it's like... Uh, something like this. Just too much. This much. Damn it. Come on, dude. Help a brother out. There we go. Coerce. And now we're going to get enough to actually grab the Hedong main settlement right away. We have a total of 12k, which is insane in terms of how much money we have. So here, we're going to recruit a second general. Let's grab this one that I just um had in another in um back here. Let's put him to grab the major settlement. Boom. And then you, force march, grab this one. Occupy. Bam. So now we have Hedong. And we actually have enough money to grab another settlement. And it could be this cheap pass here. And the important thing about passes is that they give income multipliers to commerce. The bad thing, though, is that these settlements cost 5k, like major settlements, to annex, which is a crazy investment. I would say that they should be lower than that, like a minor settlement, but that's just me. Now, continuing, we have 5.8k in terms of overall money. So now we want to start building things to start uh, building up our economy. So we want to make this settlement into a commerce income settlement so let's keep getting all these buildings built up here to get more multipliers we're gonna remove uh this building um actually let's keep it for now until we build up these two and then here we have enough money to build the marketplace we also don't want to get this public order penalty here we also want the money from the settlement this is 592 so this is what's gonna happen uh sang liao here we're gonna remove the senior officer from him He's not very happy. It is what it is. And then we're going to go here. And he's going to become administrator and give us a ton of multipliers to this uh, province. And he will be happy now. If you look. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. 30. Okay, good. So now here. I started constructing this already. Let's reduce it. Remove it. And get this constructed. Now the key thing here is that our population is not that high in this common, in this, um, common theory. So we don't have enough to build two settlements out. Two buildings at once. So we're going to be a bit slow in that aspect mainly. Now some of these don't really cost that much to finish construction in one turn. Like this one's just 650. And then this one is 775. So if we want to, we can actually finish constructing this one now. And we have enough money to start building up these ones faster and at a better economic um, return. But here, since this one here is going to take a bit of time to finish constructing fast, let's get here construction cost reduction with her for now. Boom. And then we also want commerce income multiplier, but we're not going to use it just yet. So the important thing here is that both Lubu, Dong Zhuo, and that guy that I have here, Niu Yu, all have oversee mustering. And that's going to help us build up our economy really fast. Let's go all the way over here. Full sail. There we go. Should be able to grab it in the next turn. Okay. And then here we are good. Okay, the question is, do I finish building one of these buildings right away? Hmm. I don't actually think so. Let's start with this one. And then here, start with the inn. Okay, we definitely want to start building up this one here. Um, we don't have that much food, which we do need, but we will deal with that in due time. There are some generals here that can actually help with that right away. So this general, she's level three. She is willing to spy for us. Sometimes she's not willing to, 
And if we go here, she has replenished supplies. So if we do want to put her, uh, or food production, my bad. So if we want to make her give more money or um, help with monetary purposes, she's actually really good. If you combine replenished supplies, which boosts up your reserves per turn, and you combine combine that with the assignment of, let's show you, let me show you here, with surplus markets, you can gain a ton of money. And this is really good investment to do in a common theory such as Hedong, which is going to become a big economic hub of industry and commerce income. Now, there are five buildings that I want to construct in total. It's the inn, marketplace, labor, state workshop, and private workshop to get population growth increasing really fast, but also um, get uh, industry income and multipliers to industry and commerce income as much as possible. But to do that, I got to get this settlement to level seven. And for now, we can't really do that. So we're going to avoid that from happening. What we can do is deconstruct this building and get some of the ones that give more that are prioritized not more nor, uh, more so population growth but commerce multipliers or commerce income so we will do that and in here we have a fairly good amount of money we do want to get more food we'll do that do that in due time this final assignment we want to put people that will help in battle against the enemy in just a, in just a bit so here we can put dong zhuo who does have a big retinue that costs a lot of money to deploy, but he can at least help with mustering turns to get an army at this location built up ASAP so I can push towards Zhuangshu. So let's get him in position here. Okay. And we are good there. Been good in these positions there as well. We don't necessarily need him anymore, but it will benefit to actually push and grab these settlements. From the Han Empire, especially the Iron, the Toolmaker. But for now, I think this is all doing well. Here as well, assignments, all good. Is there anybody else that I want to look at in terms of characters? So I did want to recruit her. I don't think I did it. Yeah, we can get her. She does have. She has a pretty good spy with plus four cover gain per turn, and own military supplies. Yeah, she's fine. It's going to help early in the game. And then let's look at this guy. Who else is willing to spy? Ping Dan. I think he has reach. Let's see. Oh, no. He actually doesn't. Uh, Saru. No, I think that's it. Okay. So we have a total of 12 characters still, right? And I need a total of 15 from what I mentioned. So what we can do is court. Mm, let's get her. Because she's going to have to replenish supplies. Um gonna have the replenish supplies uh assignment so she's gonna be useful let's get her and now we have one two three total strategies we do want one more because one of them i'm actually still using for um for assignment which will be her so i think that's it here nothing else to manipulate i got some items law enforcer we can definitely use that here let's put it on this homie oh shit yeah here okay we do have this, which doesn't really help him. Okay. I think that will be all. Let us... I see, do I want to recall see, him? My Lord. Yeah, that's fine. She's actually pretty weak right now. Okay. Yep, that's good. Let us continue. Alright. So now it says here, get two more units and we're going to get 50 uh plus 50 bonus experience for units per season which we do want definitely and then here we already built up yep so now we got the construction cost reduction so watch this everything here they're cheap to construct and only one turn but some of them do cost a fair bit of money to um finish construction in one turn or some of them do at least and we do want this one okay 650 that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build up the economy here. Boop. Boop. There are two at once. All right. And I think to level three, we can also finish it. Okay. Destroy and then here, we want to do the same thing. We're going to get the marketplace up. But then some of these, as you can see, cost a fair bit of money to finish constructing. Some of them do not. Only 475. So we have enough intimidation to do a couple of things. We want to get this guy here to annex this settlement. Let's prioritize this for now. So let's go over 
Let me see. Yeah, let's go over here. Da -da -da -da. And then we're going to annex this settlement. Integrate. Now, this Duan Shao army will tackle or attack this Han Empire army. I'm going to retreat and not reinforce. And Duan Shao will not attack and siege this settlement. Or at least he doesn't. So I hope that, you know, I play this correctly or else I'm toast. Okay. And then we are at negative two food. So we definitely want to get at least some food back. What we can do, you know, going back to the same old, same old, is we can go back to the Han Empire. Uh, let's do it the easiest way. Boop. Enter freely, friend. Um, let's go to request payment. Of course. We're at negative two food right now. We definitely need to improve that. So let's see how much it costs to get two food. Oh, wait, wrong one. Whoops. How much food does he have right now? 52. It's still going down. Only two. And then here, coercion is 17.7. So if I start building this up, definitely won't get as much money as I normally would. But we are good. We can actually influence it even more by trading ancillaries. So you can trade this little horsey and then gain a bit more money from the guy. Come on, get as much money as you can. There we go. We're going to get two food. So now we're going to be net positive on food. Even though, actually, we shouldn't actually play with fire here. Because it's actually a big little... Um, If I do get hit by... Damn it. If I do get hit by... The... Scheme of Sao Sao, I would want to get more food from the Han Empire. So I want to save that as a last resort because if I ask for a little bit of food now, I don't, you know, I might have to break a deal to um, get the food that I need later. So let's just coerce for now and just get what I need here. There. It's going to give us a bit of money. That's great. Question is what if I just ask for the food now? Get really positive on food. Hmm. No, because I actually want the money to help build up my economy. And I need to get a lot of units um, recruited to push on Yuan Shao and finish him off. So let's get this done. And the question is, how am I going to get the rest of the food that I need? Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to do this here. Mm. Actually, drop it. Drop it this down and then coercion 0 0.6 more so let's do like 400 maybe oh shit damn it force 1.0 less maybe like 200 100 0 0.1 70 Boop. okay we're gonna get this money a frustrating matter. And then let's see from who I can get food. That's six food. Okay. Enter free. So if I'm like, yo, homie, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. How much can you help me here? And then I go, I'll give you this. Yeah, let's actually do that. So let's get net positive on food by going here. Let's uh go to this guy and be like, yo, homie, I actually need this for a deal. I remove it from you and yep i think that is it uh i think there's actually another item shan liao has it which we could use let's just use it now so i'm building up the economy here and here boom okay and then this is how much 650 and then here 525 all right we finished this one and then we want to get the marketplace to get more commerce income. And this is how much to finish. 925. Which is going to give me enough. Let me see. 925. It won't be enough to let me finish the marketplace though. And I'm still building up this one. Okay, let's go back to trade. Who else got along with me? Do we? Let's go to Hansui. Good day to you. Red ancillaries. Little horsey. This little thing. 
And then I'm gonna be like, yo, homie. Get me positivo. And just give you a little bit of money right now. Okay, that's fine. Wait, can I drop it? No. Okay. Plus two food. That's okay. We reach an understanding. Alright, so we're at net zero now. Good. Our reserves shouldn't go down that much. And we do want to level up some of those um, commandeeries there and there. But here, let's see. We have pretty good intimidation. This guy's not really doing much. Here. Welcome. Actually, recall him for now. And here's where it gets interesting. So I still have this. And I still need this one, definitely. Um, the mustering turns, I have it where? Here? Yes. Okay. Actually, I should have put up here. Let's move you out. And we're going to raise an army here. And it's going to be some of the prime killers. So it's going to be Lubu. Uh, Shang Liao. We are as one. And then get Li Ru here. Reserve okay. Action. And we're going to get in a position there. And you get out. So I don't... I You know, the enemy has to actually siege the settlement to face me. And I only have so much money. Which is where this gets interesting. So we want to be able to win against them in auto resolve. Mm. See how I do this. How many can I recruit? That much. Okay, but what if I do the really weak ones? Oop. And then here, let's give him the hidden axis. Only recruit two of them. But I am in a better. I'm in a good defensive position here. I'm still building up economically at this point. My intimidation isn't that high because I've stopped annexing settlements. That's the key the key point. Yeah, some people are around there. Act quickly, I already have all the seasonal deployments deployed. And then I didn't, do need to build up an army here, as I mentioned. But right now, that's going to have to wait. Yeah, remove him from here. I'm not going to build up anybody there just yet. I know Yuan Shu is going to start pushing. That's going to happen in due time. I still have three turns left to finish construction and building up the economy at these points to make it very deadly. Let's continue. Okay, here we go. 511 units. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Yep, a lot of things I gotta do. I do have the faction council mission, so let's see if there's one. And from pet. It's not really beneficial right now. But in this one. Okay, this is gonna really help me. Getting them tired. I'm gonna have to do a crazy battle now against them. And here, random ancillary gained. Don't think this will be too beneficial monetarily speaking. There are some new characters. Some of them might be good. Healthy. Oh shit. Damn. He's got reward to fill in and corrupt. Put them down. So here we're gonna have to do a battle. So the bishop, the good thing here is that Li Ru has Wisdom of the River, which can really reduce the strength of some of these units. Lubu is the killing machine. And then Shen Liao is going to help with Roar of the Beast to push back against Joan Shao. Let's take him out. China balances on the tip of a spear. Which way will it fall? I honestly care not, so long as the battle is worthy. Are there any who would face my might? Any who can? I have felled a thousand men and will fell a thousand more. All right, here we go. This is going to be a really crazy battle. These units are not going to be too beneficial. So we can actually probably remove them out of the map. Yeah, let's put them over here. So they're all... Are they all hiding? Here we go. Wisdom of the river. Defense. Go. Okay, don't reject duels for Lubu. Yep, there we go. All right, let us begin. Look, our reinforcements are on the field. Do attention at the ready. Hurry, ready. Steal yourself. So we gotta take out uh Juang Shao first. That's the key. Take heed, warriors. To attention. Move. No, my fury. Go, go, go. Move up. 
Are you good? Get out. Get out. Stand ready. Hurry! Move! Prepare! Move! Move! Run, Forrest! The time has come. Ready! Alright, come on. Any last words? I will cut out your tongue! Steal yourselves! Make ready! Hurry! Move! Ten! Move up quickly! Fast! Run! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! There you go! Make ready! Master! Show no mercy! Double time! Ah! Engage him, engage him, engage him. The time has come. Kill them. No, don't get to him. Put him off. A noble comrade has been attacked. Stand ready. To attention. Okay, stop. As I order. Charge. The battle. Unleash fury. Destroy them. Attack. Do not relent. There you go. You can both take him out. The time has come. There we go. The oh, shit. Attend. Stand ready. Stand ready. Double time. Move, move. Yep, we're gonna consume them one by one. Stand ready. Show no mercy. March at the double. Go, go, go. The battle. Are you truly worth a thousand warriors? See for yourself. Fight! Run! Steal yourself! Hey, Shanley, you're gonna have to get out. Run! Double time! Do not relent! To attention! Go, go, go! No, my fury! Come on, come on, Lubu. There you go. Double time! Run! Run! At the ready! Hurry! No. Shit. Watch at the double! Prepare! Okay, all of you, move forward. Just ignore them for now. Lubu, get out. Get out. old man take heed warriors run on me march at the double Destroy. come on surely you could do better words do not win wars attack no my fury Hurry, there you go rot them all rot them all come on Don't let the horses come back. That's the key here. Shit, Chen Liao. Shit. Our men are running, the spineless cowards. Make ready. Strike to attention, archers. Get out, get out, get out, homie. Ready. Attend. The time has come. Right. Do attention. Come on. Come on. Attend. Come on. Prepare. Fight. Move. The 
battle. Do not relent and run. I rot them all. Ready. Move up quickly. Run. Strike. Fast in the double. That's fine. That's fine. So come up. Go, go, go. The only cav unit left is the G infantry captain. Just go for the archers. Come on, Lubu. Them. Kill them. At the ready. Bowmen. Ready. Take heed, warriors. Are they done? Are they done? Come on. Enemy. Yes. Please. What cowards. There you go. There you go. Very good. Go for all of them. All right, here we go. Let's just left here a bit more. Let's go for the general. Forget all of these guys. Come on. Stop moving for a second so we can uh, get fatigue back up. Come on. Here we go. Lubu's really fatigued. Get him out of here. There we go. He's done. All right. Let's make sure Lubu gets replenished or uh, gets his fatigue back. Actually, hit this unit up. We can take him out right now. Very good. Come on, come on. Alright, get back, get back. Alright, you guys have your abilities back. What's your... Damn, that freaking... Are they unbreakable? I don't remember. Discipline. Okay, that's why. The time has so... Die if you cannot surrender. His morale is pretty low, which is the bad thing. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for him to get up here. Ready. We want Lubu to... Get back his fatigue, which is just taking forever to get back because he is... Is it tired when you're that uh, that level? Very tired. Yeah, that takes a while. There we go. Unit hits like a freaking truck, man. Here we go. There we go. Very good. Woo. All right. Make sure the defenders of Hebe are completely wiped out of the face of this earth, man. Come on. So, I don't think this will be a heroic victory because I had all those units and they did get wiped out. So, we shall see what happens here. All right, very good. Oh, it is a heroic victory. So, there's a really good chance because Liru has Perceptive that... Actually, I think he has Patience already. I can't remember. That I might capture Juan Shao. Let's see what happens. Opportunity okay. From us. Very good. Yeah, we captured Juan Shao, but we want to make sure that we can get some of his unique generals into our faction. Um, so that is the key here. I think we're going to release him. Release them. And we do want replenishment. And we also want money. But let us just replenish for now. Alright, very good. Now, what do we have here? I still have... Let's see. Two turns left. Or one turn? Two turns left of construction. So 
this is really cheap. What is this one? Yep, if I go this route... Nine twenty-five to finish constructing that. Got a bigger multiplier here. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, build this one. Oop. Oneness grows closer. We still don't have. Uh, yeah, the one that I'm looking for. Here, let's build this. Let's build this. And then our food is still low. Wait, why can't I build this? Oh, I need the assignment. Okay, we got another reform, so we can now get even more money from trade agreements. So let's do this one here. If we go to trade, there should be some people available. So, Kongrong gets pulled by the Han Empire to war with you, so that's a bad one. Uh, oh, this guy got taken out? Oh, he's at war with Gondu. Oh, shit. Well, um, that's interesting. That faction's basically toast. Let me see. Not you again. Yeah, they really don't want to become a vassal. Okay. Anybody want to become a vassal? Mm, not at all. Not yet. Okay. So here, we still got one more trade agreement, as I mentioned. I think this guy down here looks like it's the best possibility. Get this over with. Hmm... I have to use some money though. They didn't want to. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's go here. Oh, okay. Mr. Commandiri. Local hero that helps with public order and morale. Yeah, not but nobody here that I'm that I'm willing to do anything with. Chen Liao, we're gonna remove this thing from him okay and then we're gonna get um patience to keep capturing generals that's good now let's go back to diplomacy so trade agreement Kongrong is definitely viable let's just do it with him let's go here red ancillaries yeah but the Han Empire is gonna become messy with him let's see trade agreement 564 Let's do it with this guy. Get this sure, I'm going to lose some money right now. But if I do this, make a little bit of payment. Maybe two. There. Okay, so we'll get like 490 something from him for now. Not very good. We have 7.8 in income for now, which is phenomenal. And then here, this is where it gets interesting. So I want at this location to get mustering times, but also here. I can get here, mustering turns reduction. And then here as well. Oh, I have her. Oh, shit. Yeah, get those multipliers. I still got two turns left. I'm already making that much money. And I don't even have the damn assignment that I need. Holy shit. Okay. So if I use 1,000 more bucks. What about here? Do I have anything I can build here? Yeah, I did want to build the inn. But I can't afford to deconstruct that for now because I need... Actually, I need units here. Let's see, if I switch these up. Boom. Yeah, we need to do this. Okay, there. Ah, oh, shit. Switch these to crossbows. I still have some money left. Let's get some more hidden access. Used up a lot of money. Here as well. And that's it. That's as high as I can get here, right? Yeah. Okay. But I think this is strong enough to push towards this farmland. Let me see. Yeah, it's a weak farmland, actually. And I can then race it the next turn, which is phenomenal. And then... I don't want to keep her any in here anymore. 
Although I can use her. I don't have enough money to do that. Okay. Yeah, let's deconstruct. Let's take her out from there. And then here's what I need to start getting some generals deployed. Um, Yeah, let's get here. Li Jue. Let's get Guosi. China is people. Li Jue. Not, and then we need a strategist. And I think she could be recruited. And one more person. So let's get him. Yeah, let's get these generals at least. And then here we are strong enough in a bit to start pushing towards uh, Juan Shao. Okay, this is great. Great here as well. All right, phenomenal. And then here, let's get... Yeah, discipline for own retinue. That's really good. And was there anybody else here? Is she, she's not happy. What are you not happy for? Is it because you're not doing anything? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get her up and running in a second. Oh, damn. actually a pretty big penalty there so we need to re remove that from there okay and then here we can remove this building so we can get um let's see a state workshop and get more overall industry income although it is helping with overall population growth which we can keep for now but i already have that Private workshop is the one that I don't have. Let's remove this one for now. Okay. And here, I think we are fine. And I don't think I want to manipulate intimidation any further. Because, let's see, I'm at 59. And I think this here is 30. So I don't want to drop it one level below. Okay. Here, I'll get one assignment here with Dong Zhuo. Alright, that's great. Let's continue. Okay. Okay, very nice. I look here. Yep, continuous prime minister. And our intimidation is at 58. So it went down just a little bit. But I think we are strong enough to push towards him and take him out. Let's see. Yep, do it. We're going to get weak, but that's okay. Another knot to my bow. Yep, and we need intimidation right now. Although we are going to be pretty high. We actually don't care that much about this settlement, even though it is a farmland. Because Shenzhen can come and attack it, and we want him to only attack a major settlement. So let's race it for now. It's fine. And then here we have a ton of money. And this guy's going to start pushing towards us. Let's come right here. And we still have construction time by one left. See the land filled with life. Let's get this. And in here, we need it this constructed ASAP. So I wanted to deconstruct that. Okay. Let's get some money from the Han Empire. Let's go back to... Where's, where are the homies? Right here. Enter freely, friend. Trade and salaries. Request payment. 5,000? Or 17.7 this time. Okay. Like 150 here. Oh, shit. What? 75. There. Or All right, very good. We must surrender to the unavoidable. All right, we have a ton of money. So now what I can do is keep building all of this up. So what, what matters here is that I get this garrison up and running. Because she's going to try to attack it. Alright, wish it's good. Build this. Build this one. And then what's my multiplier on commerce? Pretty high, so I'm getting a ton of money from here. But I can actually build... Let's see. You can build the mine, but that's only giving me a multiplier of 73%. Let's do that there. And if we finish constructing this and then this. Alright, we get one food. We also want to finish constructing that one. But what we want to do is get the last general. I recruited the last one there. Okay. Here we go. So let's get 
Oh wait, no, no, wrong ones. Okay. Let's get a bunch of G militias. And then sabers. There, that should be pretty good. And then here, we're doing really well there. Nobody that I can recruit at that point here. We're getting pretty good. Yeah, I don't have... To, I already used up all my money. Buy food production reserve by 50%. I'll get to negative food, which is the bad part. Let's get this one. Actually, no. Mm, actually, still take advantage of it. Sit there. 1,000. Yeah, I think that's it here as well. Okay. Let's get one more Saber Militia here. And can we get one more General recruited here? Yes. Which I need. Which I want to. Let's get My her. Aim is precise. Okay. Ever upwards. Yep, that's fine. We still don't have Reach. That's okay. And in here, we need to move back to Replenish. Um, what I did want to do is get more generals deployed in this location, but I can't afford anybody else. All right, I think that's it for now. Let us continue. All right, we are good here, but not strong enough to push towards that major settlement. So let's get these units recruited. And then here as well, let's get basic U militias. We're still at positive one food. What's going on here? Persevere. Maintain momentum. There. Damn. Secure the perimeter. Okay. We can get some more food there and we can finish constructing this. No, I think I need... Let me see. Is she pushing towards me? Doesn't seem like it. That's really expensive to construct this here. Oh, I Damn, I hadn't put this here. Hmm. And what's my satisfaction? It's okay. It's not negative. That's what matters. But what we can do is put her... Or him... Put him here. Right now, I still don't have this one fully built up for commerce income. We still need more food in order to do that. And in here, we'll build up this army and we'll grab that settlement the next turn. And we still have enough money here to get one more general. Get him. And then let's get... There we go. A lapping tide very good here we are also doing very good i didn't want to recruit any units on her all right that is it this guy leveled up he got reached that is great but he is on assignment she's not too happy still that's a-okay let us continue and we will probably take out joan shout this next turn or a turn after this one uh what is this local villain what is this movable no, that's okay just use the money up okay uh here Let's see how strong you are oh damn it i should have put a commanding answer, my lord. shit okay actually i don't know why i'm complaining i can still get there but you promote calmness actually no i can't to the grand design. Yeah, I think he'll try to engage me this next turn. I have three extra food. All right, here we go. So now we can push towards this army. He is on force march, so he's definitely toast. There. I bid you welcome, my lord. Attack. Bam. Standard positions. Close to victory. Definitely, the problem is that he has all those elite units that just destroy melee units uh, like militia units we won with yeah. integrity. 
Now let us celebrate with abandon. Ten of intimidation, great. Oh shit, I got his bow. Oh, I got all his items. Oh my god. Uh, yep. Release. Get money. To punish them further. Hold the center. We can't get all the way over there though. What we can do is. Deflect with shield. Cleave with sword. Now we wait. The thing is that we need to grab. Yeah, he's actually building up a pretty strong army there. So let's go here. And we need a couple more generals. Um, we're not going to get really strong ones. But we just need just a tiny bit more. Who's willing to spy? He's level 3. What does he have? Sure, actually. We still have an assignment here, right? Yeah. Clarity shines the path to peace. I go here. Announce my arrival. Is she getting hit by the mustering benefit? Picture victory, mm. and it will be yours. Okay. Yep, still can get all the way over there. It's definitely built up. I'm getting 1,900 income from this settlement. Here, if I drop 2.5, I'll still be positive. So I can deconstruct this building now. That's great. Okay, we're good here. And here as well. Yep, I gotta build up these armies so I can push forward um, towards the enemy. So we can go here. Unified in be an ambush. And we can now grab this lumberyard settlement. But I think... Oh shit, I think Lucheng is gonna go that way. Damn it, I didn't think about that. Yeah, she's probably gonna be taken out. Okay. Yeah, we'll deal with Juan Shu. He, starts, he likes to go for that trade port. Yep. Oh, I messed up here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh my god. Where the hell did she end up? Holy shit. Well, they are on force march, so that's good. They're not going to replenish. Interesting. Juan Shu decided not to move forward. Okay. And then what's going on over there? I should have reached now on Lubu's army, which is what I needed. And this is Hang Fu. Oh, he has Shun Chu also? Damn. That's yeah, some new characters here. Oh, yeah. We got Chen Gong. He's good with Lubu. All right. Come right there. Okay, dude. Are you kidding me? How do you not reach him? You have reach? 31%. Okay, we'll see what happens there. Damn, that's actually getting pretty heated up there. Alright, and then here. I mean, we should be able to get to him. Why you? Can you get to him? Ready yourselves. Up right here. Lift the peasants. And then we're going to have to use you. I'm right there. And gone. Embrace impulse. Think my blade is poised. The hell did she end up? Gather your strength. I shall not waver. Jesus. That's okay. I'm right there to 28% movement. Here, hide. Now we'll take out Jun Shao the next turn. Enemies built up here. I wanted to get... Oh, I already used up too much money. And I only have 53 intimidation. I need more intimidation. Good. We're good there. Any assignments that I want to... Okay, continue. All right, let's see what Yuan Shao does. Yep, this is great. 
Sure, I'm gonna get hit by the military supplies, which is bad, but you know. All right, there. Great. Yep. Release and um, get the money for now. That's okay. Right now we have a lot of armies, so we need as much money as we can. Okay, so now what's going on over here? Oh, nice. Now, let's see. He can actually get... Oh, wow. You little punk. Now, who can I race here that could help me? Not much. Okay. Now, at this point, though, we are doing really good. Engage him. Yep, delegate. A quick wit dodges the hardest blow. Phenomenal. So this is it for Ju and Shao's faction. And we got Jan Lian, which we're just gonna release, and hopefully he wants to join the factions. And here we can get a ton of intimidation, which we want to. So we can race it. And since it's a major settlement, we get more intimidation. And now we cannot allow by doing so. Let's see what characters are here. Oh hell yeah. I got the jackpot. Wow, I didn't get two juans, but that's that's okay with me. That's okay. Now, Shenzhen is coming this way, so I need to get myself in a position where I can still ambush. Let's go somewhere. But I want to also be able to reach that settlement over there. Hopefully, I can reach it. Okay. We're good here. We have a lot of money. Um, Action Council missions. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this on him at least and then here random ancillary gain we can do that get some money Let's see what ancillary i gained heavenly sword which has good authority okay now let's go back here because now i gotta see what the hell i do with uh Standard stance. Oh, man i freaking hate this guy yes, yes i know he doesn't want peace Okay, that's fine. Let him be. So he might grab this trade port people. this next turn. Gather your strength. Moving out. Man the decks. Okay, I'll probably get it back the next turn. Although if I look here, I mean I might be able to push back on him. Let me see. Wait, how much does it cost to recruit uh this guy? But I thought he was in the recruitment pool. What? Yo, what the hell? Okay, I am super confused right now. Is he in my fa- Did I already recruit him? Whoa, this is really weird. I mean... Uh... Okay, I am so lost right now. Is he in the faction or not? Jushu's a-okay. The one time is gonna be key. And I can deploy him over here. To help push back on this guy. I got a lot of redeployment costs. If yeah, that's okay, we can get him over here. Vent frustration. And remove the two little horsies. And give him a better sword. Better. Yep, that's okay. Now, if I attack him, is my garrison gonna reinforce? Let's see. No, they can't actually. Okay, that's fine. Let's get him right there. Okay, and then here, this is where it gets interesting. So. Let's get them to move towards me. And then here, get the inconstructed. We're gonna go back to. This nope, not them. 
Back to the Han. Request payment. 5,000. And we're going to do 700 here. 750. And then coerce. Oh. Okay. Damn it. There. Coerce. Right, we got a good amount of money. Must surrender to the unavoidable. Okay, good. Now, the key is, what do I want to do? So... Juju is here. More chance to ambush for own army. That's actually pretty good. Question is, where do I want to put that person? Let's actually get him... I'll have six armies already. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Uh, okay, I got reached the limit. Okay, I still have one more trade agreement that I can get. Let's do that. Let's do this. Is she? All right, we'll do come wrong for now. Speak Make him happy. Mm. This little weapon. And you want to give me any money? No, it's okay. So 623. That's all right. An understanding. All right, so now we have um, even more money coming in. I don't have any more armies, though, that I can recruit. Do have two 2,713 in total money. I think we can gain this the next turn. All right. Probably this one, too. This guy's a freaking mess. Destroy corruption. All right, we're good here. Well, let's get Shushu at least. There. Remove this unit. Remove this unit. All right. And then everybody here is moving along. That's fine. Okay, and then where is Shen Liao? Wait, it's right here. And this item. Okay. Uh, who was I looking at? You have a ton of crossbows. So let me give you this. And then you, let me give you the extra. There we go. Or get a little bit of a better horse. All right. Should be good there. Not sure what's going to happen at this point. We will see. Um, this guy does have stifling refuse, so I can prevent anybody here from using abilities. And then Juan Tan has familial conflict. So if I get another Juan in my faction, which I don't know what the heck happened with this guy. It's like, it's like I could get a point into him like if he was in my faction but he's not and now he's not in the recruitment pool either it is a really odd behavior that's occurring there uh, need the money all right i think that's everything we're gonna do there let's continue so we're pretty close we've already passed probably an hour in this recording so i'm probably gonna do one more turn or two at most but as you can see here, by doing these steps, you get into a really strong position to face off or push back on the central plains if you want to prioritize that route. And here, we're going to retreat, but we pulled the army away from the garrison, so we should take less losses. Very good. Actually, I can't even get to the settlement, though. Dang. GSC is still expanding in the northeast. That's something that we must deter in due time. Um, but right now, Juan Shu pushed through the river, which I lost track of. Okay, this is where this is, gets interesting. So... Alright. These two guys, I can take out now. But the problem is that I don't want to push too far to the north without taking out or getting this farmland here. So what we can do, though, is... Marshal, Force march all the way this way. I'm gonna grab this settlement. Delegate. Now this guy has really low military supplies, so that's not good. All right, we can execute him, and then we're definitely occupying this settlement. 
In winter seek okay, good. We are replenishing little by little. Seek shade. Get that guy there. To conserve spirit. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. What the hell is this guy doing? At ease. Strike true. Yep, take it. That's fine. We want to live him really weak. That's the point. Justice cannot be denied. I got 82 intimidation, so I can farm some more money from um. Ooh. Oh, eh. and he does have really good traits. Get more money. Okay, the army's done, Serve which is phenomenal. Integrity. Now I need to get back. Ready yourself. Oh my god. Standard stance. I recall you. Welcome, my lord. So what we can do with um at least this army is push to the north this way to take out the bandit queen. While over here, let's see how we're doing. Get more campaign line of sight. For China. At ease. Ever forward. Yeah, that's fine. We will strike when they are vulnerable. Shit. Marching. Remain drawn to strike quickly. We will grab that in a turn. And then here I'm at 11 food, which is great. That's helping my reserves kick back up faster, which I do want to be happening. Um, yep, build this up. Definitely need more food in a lot of places. Concern. We're not even going to maximize for peasantry income at this time. We're just going to go for this. Oh, this one's gone. Okay. Yeah, he's got very low military supplies. And in here, what's going to happen is they can't reach this settlement, but I should be able to replenish to auto-resolve against these two armies. But I think this is a good place to actually end it. Now, definitely, there's a two big worrisome uh, parts here. These guys are definitely going to be pushing outwards. How much movement they have. They're going to be moving towards this silk um, settlement. So we got to move to defend that uh, ASAP. We're probably going to lose a silk settlement. But what we can do is... Get here another army deployed. So once they grab the settlement, we can take out Gong Du's armies here. Now, yeah, we could go. Yeah, their faction rank is too low. So at least Mao Tang has pushed them back. But at the same time as he's pushed them back, he has um led him to push towards this silk settlement that I have here. So I still have one army available to deploy again. And we can deploy Yuan Tang and somebody else. Doesn't seem to be any characters here available. Oh, now you appear. Of course he appears because I took him out the last turn. Right, hold up, what am I building? Let's see. Hell yeah, we got Jan Lian. Oh my god, this is freaking phenomenal. All right, we got the dude. Hell yeah. And if we look here, it's still summer, so no positions there. There's some possible uh, spies. Don't really care much. Yes, yes, talk. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. Now, we have Intimidation high up again. So, before I finish the episode, let's farm money from the Han once more. So, request payment. Let's see how much we can get. 4, 17.6. Let's drop it. 7.6. Zero, 0. That's okay. Coerce. And we're good there again. A frustrating matter. We must and now we have enough money to come here and since this guy is going to push towards us we can come here and deploy this bad boy Caution. bam is the heart's desire. get him re yeah get him replenished and we want to get really weak actually keep the cav units there mm, a lot of money though that's level 4, actually. Yeah. yeah. Keep it as it is for now. Why does it sound like he has an echo? What the hell's up with him? Okay. And then we'll get two more generals deployed here. We want to build up an army at this point. And at this area, we once you uh, push back against these two armies, you have a lot of possibilities. Do so you keep defending um, the rest of the Han settlements here and annexing them? So you can then prevent GSC from pushing too far out. 
Do you push north to grab these farmland or west and north to grab all of these farmlands here and next to the rest of these settlements of the Han and then take out the mountains? You have enough money to do so. This army here can replenish and push north on the bandit queen. You can set up a we can basically set up defenses around this settlement here with like half an army. Because you have a really good gears or retinue here once you level up this building. Um to really build it up and then keep like two retinues here to defend really two weak retinues. And then this army can move north and grab all this this area here while this other army pushes towards the bandit queen in this direction. So here you can push back towards Gangdu and make him, you know, suffer for a bit. While this army here, which is taking a while to replenish, it seems that these guys are not being affected by the mustering time reduction. I found that really odd. I'm not sure what's going on there. And then here you can push back against Lu Shang in this direction. It seems that this main army of Zhu and Shu is going to try to push the passes. So that's something that must be taken into account. But, you know, not a big worry. We can definitely take out... We can actually take them out now. Oh, wow. Let's actually do this. Delegate. I know Lu Shang's main army is weak. The only problem could be if Sao Sao has an army in that location, which I don't know. Yep, so let's uh release. Set them loose. Let's get a bit no more friends. money. I am not without mercy. Pretty good. And then can she at ease here. And then we can grab this settlement next. And then establish myself in this location and then push to grab these two settlements from um Yuan Shu. Now Sao Sao is probably gonna uh push in this direction. So I must be really careful here with what I'm doing. Uh, but anyways, this has been a really fun campaign. If, if, it, if there's anything that I would change, it would be to have prevented Yuan Shu from pushing this way because that delayed me a turn. Additionally, um, let's see. If Cao Cao does do a minus 20 food scheme, do the coercion on the Han Empire to get over 20 food per turn so you can offset it. Now, at this point, it is really good, as you see, to take out Yuan Shao fast because you can get really good characters from the... What do you call it? From taking him out. Hang Fu also has uh, Zhang He, I believe. And he also has uh, Shu Yu, I, uh, another unique character. So you can also get them by taking him out here in the north. And once you take him out, all you have is this minor faction to the west and Xiang Zhan to the north. So really in the north, it's just basically, if you take care of GSC after Juan Shao, it's go time. You know, you can push in all multiple of ways. And here in this direction, you can take out the Bandit Queen with all thanks to coercing and coercion and coercing the Han Empire. So anyways, I really want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.